Hello everyone and thank you for joining another webinar Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about Yoga Connect by RPI Consultants. It's a product that we've developed to help you integrate directly into your ERPs. A few housekeeping items to keep track of first. Uh, this recording or this presentation will be recorded. Uh, the actual presentation itself, the PowerPoint, will be distributed to everyone on this call uh, at a later date uh, by the end of the week or next week. Um, and this video will also be posted to YouTube at a later date as well so you can always reference this in the future. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, put those in the GoToWebinar chat window uh, at any point. Um, we'll take questions at the end. If you have any ideas for any additional webinars that you'd like to cover in the future, please feel free to put that in the window as well. We'd be happy to uh, present on that as well. Uh, one other thing to call out here, we've already done this webinar today uh, due to some technical difficulties earlier today, uh, but we are having another web webinar Wednesday, uh, December 5th. We're going to be covering API automation with Cofax Total Agility and Lawson APA, APIA and how those kind of integrate, as well as content management with Infor for Lawson. Um, and we've also got some past webinars uh, that you can check out as well. Um, if you're interested in the Infor practice, we have a ton of webinars that are going on as part of that winter series. Uh, my name is Alex Lindsay. I am a senior solution architect with RPI Consultants. I have a focus on basically AP automation, some other non-standard solutions, and creative ways to automate things, and I'm also a novice axe thrower. Hi, my name is Bailey Dennis, and I'm a senior project coordinator here at RPI. So the main things I focus on um, is during all projects, I make sure you know everything runs smoothly, things are on time, on budget, and then I also, Alex decided to help me out with my slide, am a rock kicking master, which means I like to rock climb and kickbox in this So um, the agenda for today, uh, first of all, we'll um, just tell you a little bit more about us here at RPI, and then we'll dive right into Yoga Connect and give you guys an overview of the software we've created. And then we'll show you guys some use cases and examples so you can see how Yoga Connect can benefit your specific solution and business practices. Um, then we'll go over some of the technical specifications needed for Yoga Connect as well as our future roadmap. And then we will kind of summarize the whole presentation and um, open up the forum to any questions you guys might have. So, a little bit more about RPI. Um, here at RPI, we have over 80 employees, and that's full-time consultants, project managers, as well as technical architects. We have three different offices. Um, our headquarters is in Baltimore, but we are also located in Tampa, and then all of us here are in Kansas City. Um, we focus on a variety of uh, things to help clients, as technical strategy, architecture, expert installation, and upgrades. Um, we focus mainly on specific uh, types of softwares, mostly Cofax, Highlands, and Infor products, um, but we can do a variety of solutions um, and support and do managed services. And in those uh, support and managed services, we can do business process analysis, workflow design, solution, product enhancements, basically a one-stop shop for all content process automation. So before we jump into what Yoga Connect is, what is Yoga in general? Uh, Yoga is basically a flexible software suite that we've developed here at RPI. It really essentially helps fill the gaps when it comes to workflow processes and your ECM uh, base. So if you have perceptive content, for instance, uh, that can be, you can basically layer uh, yoga on top of that. Um, that includes yoga docs and dashboard. That is essentially a web browser, HTML5 web browser that allows you to process your documents, uh, do e-form processing, um, look at a specific dashboard, a snapshot of your workflow, at any given time, historical reports, anything like that. There's Yoga Forms for basically a nice integrated method to do form submission. Uh, SMS, which is basically to do approvals through your phone. Um, and then there's Yoga Capture as well that allows you to import documents um, via email and other methods. Uh, there's also Yoga Link, which is basically a screen scrape technology that allows you to uh, pull values from other web-based ERPs and index documents. And then there's, of course, Yoga Connect, which we'll jump into right now. So essentially, Yoga Connect uh, is a connector method that we've developed um, to basically bring in uh, data from your ERP or workflow system. So if you are doing workflow processing within Cofax, OnBase, Brainware, ReadSoft Online, Perceptica, any other front end technology, whether it's strictly OCR or it's OCR, uh, optical character recognition, um, for those that may not know that term, any other front end workflow where you have data that needs to get pushed into your ERP. This could be uh, accounting data. This could be human resources data related to employees, student records, anything like that. Uh, basically, this connector is was developed to push data in through 
basically calm or rest based calls. Uh, calm is most commonly used for the in for practice uh, to basically call those jobs and those modules to basically push data in. Uh, if you're in for client that you know looks something like the MA540 or the AP520, uh, to basically get that data into your system for uh, invoice posting. Uh, and other APIs as well that basically any kind of rest based call that we can communicate with, the Yoga Connect tool can facilitate that. Uh, it's also easy to maintain and easy to install. Uh, it's multifaceted and product solution, product and solution ag agnostic, meaning that it's not just for AP. We talk about accounts payable here a lot at RPI Consultants because you know we we do it really well. We know the products really well. We understand accounting procedures really well. Um, but it's not just for that. It can be for any kind of system, any third-party application that you need to facilitate data transfer between these systems into another system. Yoga Connect to handle handle that. Uh, and it's also right now in for uh, Lawson ready, uh, meaning that we could just essentially lay this down. If you're a Lawson customer, if you're front ending it with one of these other applications, we can lay down Yoga Connect pretty easily and have that pushed in. Yeah, so Alex uh, already kind of hit on some of the benefits, but we do want to dive in a little further. So some of the main takeaways you want to um, learn about Yoga Connect is it does standardize integrations across multiple platforms. So like Alex was saying, it's solution agnostic, so you can use it as a translation method for mo multiple systems, and so that way you have the same standard integration translation tool for all of your softwares. Um, it also has real-time interface, which means it can reduce breaking points. That way you're not dealing with scheduled tasks, you know, um, pushing data at specific times every day, usually at the end of the night. It's a resting API, so it can happen um, in real time and um, happen quicker, and so you can make sure your data is pushed in correctly. It can also integrate with cloud-based applications, so something like ReadSoft Online can also work with Yoga Connect, as well as being highly customizable for all solutions. Right, so it eliminates that flat file exchange, essentially. Um, some of the older AP solutions, for instance, or older solutions leverage flat file exchange, and that can get cus you know, kind of cumbersome to maintain. Um, and it is customizable, like Bailey said, to where if you need to do additional things along with that, reference a, maybe a static, table somewhere that needs to pull additional information before you push it in there or massage it in a certain way, um, it, can be do, it can be done that way. So how does it really work? So the architecture is essentially, like I mentioned before, um, if you have these products in place right now, you can basically leverage Yoga Connect. So if you have an invoice document or a student transcript that's been OCR'd from Brainware by Highland, um, you push this information into Yoga Connect. This is where it really, it, at its basis form, is a translation engine, right? So we take the data in any format that it comes from. So from perceptive content, for instance, we can export data in a number of different methods in whatever format you need. Yoga Connect will take whatever information that's coming from these systems, translate it into something that's pertinent to your ERP so that it directly ingests uh, all through an, basically the API that exists. Um, and I'll get into API versus other things as well. But at its core, that's what it does. It takes the data from one system, massages it, and pushes it in all through an API so you don't have to worry about these breakpoints. So a few examples that we'll cover here to kind of give you an idea of how you could use this. Obviously, invoice posting uh, is a big one. We use it a lot for Lawson. Uh, that com object that we basically use to push data into Lawson. Uh, that would include like header and GL coding. So you can get up very dynamic with the data that you're pushing over into other systems. So obviously if you're doing non-PO invoices and you have a ton of GL lines, you could code up to 100 lines for instance um, in a lot of APE form solutions. All of that can be translated and managed through the Yoga Connect. Um, approver metadata is another one um, and as well as check and payment information. If that needs to be pushed in, uh, it can be used for that. Uh, not only that, but if you have a vendor a vendor setup process in place, let's say, for instance, you have a vendor setup form in one of those uh, other product suites, you could basically use that information, have it go through any kind of a review process that it needs to in that workflow engine, push through Yoga Connect into your ERP to create that vendor if you'd like. Like Alex said, there are other examples, not just um, more geared towards the AP. So another one is if you have an HR solution, um, all employee records can be used through Yoga Connect. So things like benefits, employee transfer requests, termination data, we can take anything off those forms, use Yoga Connect to translate it properly and configure it in a way that makes sense to your ERP. As well as um, we can do healthcare solutions as well. So claims posting, patient billing, or release of information, all of that can be used in Yoga Connect um, and stored appropriately. Right, so these are just standard examples, but you as a client, 
Uh, and you as a user are using tons of different systems across your entire enterprise. Uh, so don't feel like it's gotta be limited to just one specific thing. If you are a healthcare uh, health system, for instance, and you are you have accounting, you have people software accounting, um, you have a HRIS system, you have an EMR system, you can basically integrate with all of those. So what are some of the technical requirements around this? So obviously for Infor is a Microsoft Com object that's great for direct development that we can do to basically call those modules to have uh, that data pushed in. Uh, ASP.NET for REST-based services, um, and really an ERP with any open APIs. So if you have an ERP right now that has open APIs, we can, we can talk to it, we can translate, we can push what we need to uh, into those basically calls and get a response back if we need to as well uh, to basically make sure that that's done. Um, it is important to note here that it doesn't have to be an open API. Yoga Connect can be leveraged to push data in uh, directly into a SQL or Oracle database if needed as well. So if you have an application that doesn't have open APIs, Yoga Connect can still be leveraged um, without those breakpoints. We just basically do a SQL insert uh, instead of basically a web-based call. Yep, so the next thing is our product roadmap. Like Alex mentioned before, we do have um, functionality laid down um, for out-of-the-box Lawson um, configuration, but we do have some other big ERPs on our future roadmap, so Yoga Connect will be ready to go for those in the future. So some of them include M4 Cloud Suite, SAP, PeopleSoft, Oracle, and Workday. And then another thing that um, we think is really important for our roadmap is a GUI configuration. That way the users have an interface to actually work with Yoga Connect themselves and be able to configure it and update it later on after it's already laid out themselves. Or to deploy to another system if you like. So in general, that is Yoga Connect. It's a very, very high level without getting too technical uh, into the weeds, but should explain kind of that product and how it can integrate with your ERPs and kind of maybe take some of the administrative uh, stress that it might be going on in your organization. So if you have any questions, uh, now's the time to ask. All right, guys, the first question we have is, can Yoga Connect be used in existing implementations if we're already using flat files? Sure. Uh, so you can basically take your existing solution, and this is where we would come in and have a look at your existing integrations when we're pushing data in, uh, like it could be a flat file, like you said, um, we would basically replace that. We'd gather requirements uh, around what's required, lay down Yoga Connect, and basically configure it to basically get the data that you're currently pushing over, translate it, and then directly insert it or leverage an open API that you might have. All right, second question. Uh, what other requirements would you need from us? Client. So we would definitely need, uh, it, like in that instance, we would definitely want to know what the format, uh, so the JSON response, uh, what we need to push over, the XML tags, basically how we would map it out and what's open on your ERP side that we could take the data, line it up, and then just push it over. So we'd want samples, for instance, uh, sample call, sample response. That way, then when we con configure Yoga Connect, we know how to handle that information without any errors going forward. All right, well, there's no only questions. Thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, we do have some additional resources. Uh, please check out our knowledge base. Um, if you wanna learn more about some of the other yoga products or if you'd like to see a demo, please reach out to us. Uh, and then we've also got other recorded webinars as well if you'd like to see those as well. Thank you guys very much. Thank you.